Michaela Chester here for NCAA.com, and today I'm going to give you an all-time lineup for Arizona softball. Yes, that's a team with eight championships and some of the best players in softball. Easy enough. Let's just say there are multiple players that could be the absolute star of another team's all-time lineup that aren't even included in Arizona's. Let's go for it anyways, and starting with first base, we've got Amy Shellevold, who was a two-time national champion at Arizona in 93 and 94, an All-American and a finalist for the Honda Award in 95. You can find her pretty high up in multiple career records at Arizona. She's tied for second all-time in career fielding with a 995 percentage. Let's move over to second base that will be occupied by Arizona legend Jenny Dalton. Dalton was an all-around hitter that pulled off the first triple crown in Pac-10 history in 96 by hitting 469, knocking in 25 home runs, and driving in 109 runs. She became the second player in Arizona history to take home the Honda Award for Most Outstanding Softball Player in 96 after leading Arizona to its fourth NCAA championship and earning the College World Series MVP. Dalton made the second base choice really easy. At third, we have Tony Mascarenas, who helped lead the 2001 Arizona team to the national championship with 25 homers that year and was named to the All-College World Series team. Mascarenas ranks in the top 10 in multiple statistical categories at Arizona. Shortstop is next, and we've got a big bat here. There were some incredible options at shortstop in Christy Fox, Levy Ann Jung, Julie Standering, and we've even got Jesse Harper on the current Wildcats roster knocking on the door. But how could I not go with Laura Espinoza, who set an NCAA record of 37 home runs in her senior year? The three-time All-American won two championships at Arizona and was a Honda Award finalist in 95. At utility, we've got Letty Panetta, who can play just about anywhere and unbelievably well. Panetta is one of the most prolific players in Arizona history and is the only D1 athlete to be named first-team All-American at three different positions, catcher, third base, and first base. She helped guide the Wildcats to the Women's College World Series in each of her four years, winning two championships in 96 and 97. Let's look behind the plate, and there's no right answer for this one when Jody Miller Pruitt, Leah Bratz, and Stacey Chambers all wore a Wildcats jersey. I went with Leah Bratz, who was a four time first team All American selection and won back to back national honors for NFCA Catcher of the Year. Bratz was a hitter and tied Espinosa for home runs with 85. She was the third player in NCAA history to drive in more than 100 runs in one season, along with former teammates Espinosa and Jenny Dalton. Defensively, she wasn't too shabby either. Opponents were only able to steal 66 bases and were thrown out 27 times. So, who are our three outfielders? Let's start with this first one because this one was a no-brainer. Allison Johnson, now Allison McCutcheon. I'll tell you why. She holds Arizona's all-time records for season batting average of 534, career batting average 466, hits in a season, career hits, career triples, stolen bases in a season, and career stolen bases. Her career total of 405 hits makes her the only Arizona softball player in the program history to eclipse the 400 mark, and her career batting average still ranks among the nation's best college softball players. Need I say more? Our next outfielder took home the most recent Arizona national title, Caitlin Lowe. This is another name that saturates the Arizona all-time records lists, ranking second in career batting average with 446. She was quick. In 2006, she was named All-American for the third consecutive year and was again at the top of the rankings in stolen bases, only caught twice. For our third outfielder, I went with Leah O'Brien, a three-time NFCA first-team All-American. O'Brien is third in career batting average right behind Lowe and took home three national championships during her time at Arizona. Let's finish it up with pitchers, which we all know was impossible to pick two. This first one wasn't, though, because Jenny Finch is arguably the best player to ever play at Arizona, and that 2001 year was one for the ages. In that year, she gave up only one run in her first five games and ended the year by shutting out UCLA in the Women's College World Series championship game. Finch won the Honda Award for National Softball Player of the Year two years in a row in 2001 and 2002. For the next pitcher, try choosing from the likes of Debbie Day, Susie Parra, and Nancy Evans, and Alicia Hollowell. That's what I thought. I went with Nancy Evans, who took home the Honda Award and whose numbers speak for themselves. Evans is the NCAA career win percentage leader, still. 
That'll do it. Who would be on your Arizona softball all-time lineup? Follow along with the current Arizona softball team this season on NCAA.com and NCAA Softball Social.